Warriors used to play back in the day. Yeah, um, I think these games are always exciting. Um, it, it gets us going, you know, the crowd shows up, got a lot of energy, we try to um, implement them in the game. Uh, that's something that Steve talks about all the time, is, you know, they, they want to cheer for us. So uh, playing hard, bringing energy, um, I thought we did it well most of the game and uh, just, just got to stay together. You've uh, you've been on teams in Giannis's conference before. You used to guard him earlier in his career. More now that you're here, he's obviously risen to MVP level. How has he grown uh, in your mind? Uh, you can see it. You know, when I when I first started guarding him, um, my second third year in the league, he was um, basically basically a back to the guy to put him in the corner. Um, you know, now with the ball in his hand, he's dangerous. You know, um, and we have to load up to him and, and put three, four guys in the paint and uh, try to force somebody else to beat us. And that was part of our game plan. And I thought for most of the game, we did a pretty good job of executing that. Uh, they got a lot of shooters over there. You know, they they, got, they play well as a team, and um, they seem to keep growing every every year, every game um, that I've seen them play. But uh, you know, he's he's a he's a very tough player. You know, MVP caliber player. Um, you know, and, and, and you know now with him taking more threes, taking more outside shots, you know, he, he continues to start making some of those. You know, it just makes it even tougher. So um, it's just crazy how many guys you have to have um, in the paint loaded up to him uh, to try to stop him. How willing were you guys to just sort of give up the threes and then kind of similar to the same question? Uh, did you feel like you did a decent job limiting his? Uh, getting to the rim? Uh, we watched some of the Spurs, um, some of the Spurs game when they played them, and uh, that's what they tried to do is force them to, uh, someone else to make a play, um, try to try to make some of those outside shots, but uh, we weren't willing to let them take outside shots, three-point shots, but um, we were willing to contest late and, and try to get there as much as possible, but basically try to slow him down for most of the game, and like I said, uh, I thought we, we executed our game plan um, pretty well for the most part um, throughout, the, throughout the course of the game. Everybody's got a great story about how they got here to the league, each one of you guys. Um, Giannis' story is pretty amazing when you hear about it. You guys think all about, I mean, some of these foreigners that come in here and they, the backgrounds, like his background, it's remarkable when you consider what he went through. Yeah, uh, it's crazy, you know, and, and I think that uh, more foreign players, and, uh, more outside players that we got coming here in the NBA is uh, increasing every year, and it's, it's crazy to hear some of their stories and um, kind of their upbringing and, and their rise in the league. And, um, it's good to see, you know, kind of equal opportunity for a lot of guys. You know, uh, it's good to see, especially for a guy in my position where um, he didn't start off as a superstar. You know, he um, just kind of came into his role and got better each and every year. And, and that's something that's a goal of mine is to get better every year, every summer, uh, to work on my game. So it's cool to see a guy uh, rise from, you know, the bottom and, and from not playing as much. Like I said, when I, when I first got in the league, I remember him um, playing him actually in a preseason game. And, and he didn't play that much, and they would put him in a corner and try to back cut him and get a couple dunks because he was so long. But um, other than that, you know, he was he was really just out there. So it's, it's crazy to see his rise. Great, thank you. Appreciate that. Alan's on his way in.